Mark. It's been a multi-year effort to rebuild North Carolina's film industry. We took some hits on the bathroom bill and before that, you know, tax incentives that brought a lot of industry here. But 2020 presented a whole new set of challenges, trying to make movies during a pandemic. Those who are in production or who are in production on a daily basis, they took the biggest hit. Lauren Vilcek is the assistant dean of graduate studies at the School of Filmmaking at the University of North Carolina School of Arts in Winston-Salem. When COVID-19 shut down production, it impacted more than just directors and actors. It hurt a lot of the people who are sourced locally. Craftsmen and women in carpentry, in catering, in the uh, concierge services and hotels and all, all those related industries. On the NC Piedmont Triad Film Commission's website, you'll find pages of crew listings under the production directory, costume designers in Greensboro, and location scouts in Lexington. We're one of the top in the world as far as educating um, industry professionals. Why export them? Vilchik says the talent is here. Now it's up to the state to hold on to it. And if we don't look at it that way, train them, give them an incentive to stay, and give them a place to go as they build their careers, then we'll lose them. And that's at a great loss to the state of North Carolina. This week, Governor Ray Cooper announced film production would resume, adhering to a strict COVID-19 safety plan. Five new productions are projected to generate more than $107 million in spending and create 8,600 jobs. While the numbers are up, industry leaders say more needs to be done to stay competitive. At least give people an incentive to come and to spend money here, to hire people locally and perhaps move here.